This is a podcast from the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Professor Shin Lu talks about the links between regenerative medicine and cancer. Hello, Shin. Hello. What is the link between regenerative medicine and cancer? How to control cell growth, in my view, is the underlying link between regenerative medicine and cancer. Cancer is a disease where the cancer cells is grow uncontrollably and in the wrong place. Regenerative medicine, on the other hand, is try to regenerate a new cells to replace a lost or damaged cells in a disease. For example, neurodegenerative disease. And how can this knowledge improve the efficacy of cancer treatments? For us to treat cancer efficiently, we need to understand how the cells grow uncontrollably. So if we understand how the whole control process is governed, we'll be able to stop the growth more efficiently and kill the cancer cells selectively and efficiently. And what's the most important developments over the past five or ten years? In my personal view, I think the understanding of how to reprogram our cells through nuclear reprogramming is most exciting and a fascinating discovery in the last five and ten years. What does this mean is that you could take a cell, add in four factors, and you could change the cell fate. So you could change the cell into a stem cell, and then you could induce the cells into all sorts of types of cells. But at the same time, how to reprogram a cells into all sorts of different fate, exactly what's went wrong in cancer. So the four factors that people use to reprogram a cell is also one of them is a cell factor which promotes cancer cell growth. We call it oncogene. The reprogramming process is actually not very efficient. The reason it's not so efficient is because there is a break built in our cell and we call it tumor suppressor. And it, this is what governs us not to get cancer at the very early stage. So why does your line of research matter? Why should we put money into it? What we do is to identify molecular switches which control cell growth, also controls how the cell would change its fate. Therefore, anything we identified clearly are critical for both regenerative medicine and for cancer. And finally, how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? If we identify the key molecular switches, which is able to allow us to stop the cancer cell growth or to kill the cancer cells selectively, that would undoubtedly enhance the cancer treatment efficacy. It could also have implication in prevention of cancer development, provides biomarkers for early diagnosis of cancer, and also give you the prognosis treatment for the cancer treatment. At the same time, the same molecular switches we do believe would allow us to enhance the efficacy of reprogramming of cells for regenerative medicine, and most importantly, to provide a safe cells for regenerative medicine, because one of the major challenges in regenerative medicine is that you can reprogram a cell, but you might reprogram into a cancer cell. You don't want to have a reprogrammed cancer cell. You want to reprogram a normal cell to replace what's been lost and damaged to give that treatment for the regenerative medicine. Thank you, Shen.